Okay, welcome back to another little demo lab here, except for this is going to be a little long because there's lots of moving pieces in this one. Okay, so this is under the section of appending lists or how to change, manipulate. Um, we know how to create a list, right? We can make a, a list and we know how to do some words or change some of the parts inside that list, how to reset all the values to zero, how to reset one value, uh, how to print out the uh, data in different methods. But can we merge and we can put things together? So here I have some lists down right in here. You can see I have list one, two, three, four. List one has some uh, floats. List two has some floats. List three has some integers. And list four is text. Okay. So can we combine these in some order and manipulate them? Well, let's look, talk about combining now. Okay, so we want to be able to make a list and append that list to something else. Come in here and I've got my data already in here. Okay, if I run this, nothing's going to happen. It's just going to read it all and come through to the bottom. Good. I'm going to put a command in here. Just give us a little sidebar or a little... Um, you know, just a little break to show you something's going to happen. Let's print that, or run that, and you can see what it does. Clear that all out. To show you that these lists actually work, let's go print list 01, which is this list of three numbers that are floats. Oh, and also, you'll notice that these have different, different, num different units in them, right? There's three, two, three, three, and okay, so that prints list one. That's good. I'm going to put the rest of these lines in here and just to show you that we can print all four lists that we have here. Okay, so print list one, print two, three, four, and separate them off with this dashed line. Just to show that the data is all good and works. And that showed us that, so that's good. Pull this down. Oh, I'm going to flush that, clear that out. Now that we know the data works, I'm just going to take these here and just sort of comment them out so that they're not appearing in our next set of data. And I didn't want to comment this one out. So now I'm going to ask you, is it possible to copy two lists together or merge two lists into one? So let's add two lists. And let's add list one and list two. See, so we can put those together because they are float numbers. So there shouldn't be any problem with that. I'm going to make a new variable called list underscore the new list I like caps is equal to now what command can we put in here to combine those two well list one let's try the add command okay and now print list new so we should get a line across the top I want to add these two lists together see what happens hold our breath and now we have a list of the five units right three and two put together and we have all these items in here. That's pretty cool. Okay. Clear this out for the next thing I'm going to do here, or we're going to do here. Separate this out. So, can we append? 
our lists. Okay, so can we mix data types, I guess, is what we're looking at here. So can we pin two lists with one with floats and one with integers? I could go about this a variety of ways, but let's go uh, new list. Copy. Come down to here. Paste that in there. And let's add our list three, which is these three integers. So this is going to mix floats and integers into one list, if it works. Okay, I'm not guaranteeing it's going to work. Okay. And then we can print the new list here. So the question is, can we put floats and integers from different lists into a new list? And wow, we got no errors. But you can see here, we now have this list and this list, and they're a mixture of data types, floats and integers. Okay, here's the big big one, okay? Can we can we okay, copy from over here instead of retype it. So can we append lists with fo floats? That should be floats, integers, and strings. So can we combine three different data types into one list? I think you probably know the answer to this, but uh, we're going to do it anyhow. What do you think the answer is? Hmm. You know, I can see integers and floats, but strings, that's a whole new kind of thing. Paste that in there and then add our list four. I don't know. I don't know if this is going to work or not. But we'll see. Oops. Okay. Waiting for a traceback error. Wow. Okay, so here's our first thing. We can combine two lists here. Here we can combine three lists, one of integers and floats. And look at this. We can even combine a list of different data types. That's awesome. If you really think about it, especially when you, you know that we've had problems in the past, the way Python works, where everything comes in as a string and you have to tell it this is going to be a float or this is going to be an integer. Here you have Python going in list going, I don't care. I'm happy with anything you can throw at me in my list. So that tells us that we can put multiple data types in a list. Okay? So that ends this video. A lot we're throwing at you. Once again, do this video. Demonstrate that you can do all these things. Neaten it up. Make it more like a story. You know, more comments in it. Those kinds of things so I can give you some marks for it. And we'll see you in the next one. Bye.